So we're playing... Wait, let me do this over again. It's my first video for this streaming channel. My name is Ron Reed. And this is Silent Quail Gaming. Today I'm playing The Hunter, The Call of the Wild. And I'm at some park in New Zealand. I can't actually read the text right now. I'm playing on a a projector. Something about nestled in the foot of the Southern Alps. Anyway, there are goats in the mountains. We're gonna find them. We're probably gonna shoot them. So this is the newest DLC for The Hunter, The Call of the Wild, and I don't know, I'm kind of excited about it. Some new scenery, it's got some rainforest, temperate rainforest and deciduous forest kind of in it. Should be a little bit of a different habitat, but we'll see. Some of the landscaping on this map looks kind of neat. But yeah, I'm... I'm up late. What time is it now? 2.20. Thought I'd do some streaming on this new map. And then go from there. Okay. So far it's pretty... Pretty majestic. Welcome to New Zealand and to Te Awaroa National Park. This little slice of paradise is teeming with creatures big and small and more adventures than you'll find on any movie screen or storybook. Now I've lived out here in the Wop Wops all my life and never wanted for anything else. In fact, it's practically in my blood. This place and my family go way back. Things have been a little tricky lately though. It's fast becoming somewhere I don't recognize anymore, and I don't like it. That's why I dragged you out here, Evor. With your help, we're going to wean ourselves off outside money and make the Awaroa model for sustainability the entire South Island can get behind. Okay, so... Right, let's get moving. Oh, sorry. Glad to see you've arrived in one piece. I should let you talk. Josh is my nephew. He just got his license. And I swear that kid spends more time with his hands on the radio dials than on the steering wheel. I hope he didn't talk your ear off. I've had to rely on him a lot lately since my legs started acting up again. I was planning to head out and meet you today. But here I am at home, propped up on five kinds of pillows. Ah, doctor's orders. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat from me. Head over to the outpost marked on your hunter, mate, and let's get you started. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, there's a few things I like about this map already. Um, I hope I... you had a chance to spend some quality time on your own before <sighs> I rang you up. Your mate, Alejandra, said the two of you were here on holiday? She had nothing but praise for you, by the way. Said you almost single-handedly turned things around for her in Cuatro Colinas. Well, naturally, I have pretty high expectations, but let's take our time getting to know each other first. That's kind of a cool plug from one of the other DLC maps. I'll admit maps. that it wasn't just her recounting your heroic antics that made me pick up the phone. She said you were, and I quote, stoic, practical, and probably born out in the bush somewhere. Just what I was looking for, in other words. You done talking? I mean, this is, I mean, well, yeah, I thought it was kind of a cool plug that, um, they talked about the, the other map. And one of the other characters from it. That's kind of neat. Anyway, um, what I was going to say is I like the beginning of this, how it kind of opens up with the almost, um, 
fantasy soundtrack similar to what you would hear in the Shire in the Lord of the Rings franchise. I'm a huge Tolkien fan, so being in New Zealand, being part of that landscape where those movies were filmed, at least in a, in a fictional video game context, is kind of neat. I hope that we can see some some sites that are reminiscent of that. Let's see, we got something there. I can't read what that says. You know says. what, trackers? Evidence you're not alone out there. Humbling, eh? But yeah, no, I kind of like the the reference to like movie and cinema. You know, New Zealand is really big for that, obviously. And um, I like that they kind of opened up with a almost Hobbit sounding Shire score. If anything, I, f I feel like that might have been an indirect homage to to the Lord of the Rings films being filmed in New Zealand. But I always appreciate like the the authenticity of like the the game wardens their accents are always on point um, it's a pretty universal game it, and it's really good at building landscapes from different places around the world talking natural history and, and all of that so I don't know I appreciate the hunter for being a, a game that encompasses a lot of different themes instead of just being a blast the animal game I like the little side missions where I'm fetching solar panels or or investigating water quality. You know, doing conservation work is always kind of an interesting little sidebar. You feel like you're actually you're helping the environment. You're going to make themselves a little bit too at home here, if you ask me. Their favorite food is native vegetation. Yo. Well, luckily for you, they're slower to flee than deer, if you can reach them. Hmm. Let's just go to the main mission right now. We'll get these guys later. I actually can't see that well on this screen. Whoa, what is that? A little rabbit right there, wow. Yeah, see, I thought that was a rabbit and it was a rock. I can't see well on this projector. It would play on the TV downstairs, but it would be too close to my roommate's room and it's in the middle of the night. <laughs> Off to a great start. People are going to love to see this guy play games. I don't know, that rock did look suspicious. I'll shoot him again. Well, at least I'm getting my steps in today, if anything. Am I going to put dinner on the table? No. Am I going to get my steps in? Probably. So a couple of years ago, I actually no was able. Now. Why are you we always talking? Why well, you're quiet for so long? We got the works, repurposed materials, solar roofs, rainwater tanks. That was well. back when people used to just call you a hippie. Now everything's sustainable. 
clean, green, eco-friendly. Hippies. Ha! <laughs> Try trailblazers. And good for the environment doesn't have to mean bad for your back. It's pretty cozy inside. Go on, take a look. I like her. I like the things she's talking about, but I don't like being interrupted every time I try to tell you, the viewer, a story. Anyway, I know once I go in there, she's going to start monologuing again. Anyway, what I was going to say is I actually was in Australia a couple of years ago before this COVID thing hit. 20, 2019, early 2019, I was in Australia visiting my sister traveling throughout the mainland and spent some time in Tasmania. I didn't have n quite enough time to go to New Zealand, but definitely want to go back that way sometime in the future once all this pandemic is let up and, and make sure I put New Zealand on the list this time. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Let's check out this lodge. They look a little fan. No way. Look at that. What is that? Who is that guy? Whoa. <laughs> See, we got company. That'll be Josh's doing the brat. I told him to leave things be, but I guess he couldn't resist. Anyway, maybe it's just as well you get used to it. I'll fill you in later. Right, mate? See that camera on the table? Strap it to your chest and let me explain what exactly you're here for. Mm. There's a lookout tower not far away, so you can head up there and get a sense of the place while I flap my gums. We need you to find the troll. It's been terrorizing the hunters in this region. Only you can bring a stop to it. This was its mama. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a movie prop from something like Lord of the Rings that doesn't infringe on the copyrights of Lord of the Rings. Just like how this is a Go Professional camera, not GoPro. Can I? How do I pick it up? There it nice is. Nice and tight now. We don't want it coming off right when you've got a shot lined up. Yo, that could be a euphemism. Right. They had four wheelers in Lord of the Rings, right? Pretty sure that's what Gandalf used.
place into a year-round retreat for hunters like you and Aleandra. So I don't spend most of the year worrying about whether our native plants are going to get overrun by deer again. There's a lot of filmmaking talent out here, and it hasn't been put to good use lately, if you ask me. So we're going to make a commercial? Show the world there's more to New Zealand than haka and halflings. And who better to demonstrate the thrill of the chase than an experienced hunter like yourself? See, Alwadaw's prime was back in the 80s. Most of the other hunters out here are equally long of tooth. You need someone young, new, dynamic. You. The camera will do most of the work, so you just have to make sure it's on when you head out to hunt. We have a couple of uh, strategic locations on our list to get through. But let's get you that view first. Kind of weird to me that that you guys are probably seeing this in a higher resolution than I am right now. This projector's really kind of dull in the, the fine points of it. It's not really the projector, it's I don't think I have it focused properly on the wall and I don't have a a screen up. So I, I don't really have my like projector gaming setup up to spec yet, but it's good to know that it's still going to stream off the PlayStation in 720p, so if, if I can get enough clarity to see an animal and shoot it, then then this stream would be a success. So I'm, I'm going for one animal, I don't know yet, I'm going to play the story a little bit longer. this this is cool a little bit different from the typical lookout towers in the game nice touch oh where's the TV no nothing mm. got a microwave though just take that in spectacular mm -hmm. isn't it oh yeah nature this eastern yeah. area is all rolling hills and conifers there's a line of mountains in the center of the reserve, oh, and native beach forest, and a lot of rain on the other side. Right, so remember Josh's little prank? Uh, this place doesn't receive a lot of government funding, unfortunately, and a couple of years ago we were running out of money for field research, and the outposts were in need of sprucing up. So I guess you could say we made a deal with the devil, the Hollywood devil to be exact. Long story short, they've just wrapped up filming for the final movie they were contracted to do. Some fantasy thing, shiny blade or shimmering dagger or something. Now let me check. Ah, resplendent sword. I'll send you the blurb they gave me. My nephew tells me it's a big deal, but I'd certainly never heard of it before this. But yeah, as nice as it is that Te Awaroa's beauty is up on the silver screen for all to see, it's come with its share of problems, to say the least. The bigwigs left in a hurry, and we got left with a bunch of basically intact movie sets scattered here and there all over the reserve. Cool. I'm telling you all of this because Josh just rang me up and said that he spotted another set on his way back, not far from where I wanted you to try filming your first hunt. 
Can I trouble you to go clear it out? We can't run the risk of any of the props from the film featuring in our footage. Cheers. <laughs> they make it sound so, like, so terrible. If, <laughs> if we get a leprechaun in the corner of this shot, we're finished. It would be kind of interesting to see like a crazy plot twist like yeah there was a troll in the background of one of these videos and then it brought a bunch of troll hunters out and ruined the hunter's paradise. You do hear a lot about Bigfooters, Bigfoot researchers kind of throughout the United States kind of ruining hunting spots for, for other non-Bigfoot hunters. But at the same time, I, I feel like, I don't know, a lot of times it's, it's people who are hunting in areas where they're not allowed to hunt to begin with, so, you know, you, they're, because Bigfooters tend to respect the hunting season, so typically people are hunting when and where they shouldn't be to begin with, so, eh. I'm indifferent. <laughs> I don't know what got me off on that tangent. Anyway. can't see anything. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a boulder there. Or an animal. try my luck with hunting here.
<laughs> Dang it. Wrong call. What's that sound? Something's nearby, though. I actually hear some birds that I heard while I was in Queensland, Australia. I kind of like that you can hear the different fauna in the background. Oh, did I mention I'm pretty bad at this game? Sometimes it's easier to stick to the story because the hunt can take so long. not helping either. Where are they? <sighs> this is one of the like most frustrating games to stream, I think, because it's 
I will literally walk around for an hour and a half and not shoot a single animal. It's hard to keep it interesting. Like I'm running around, I'm not, I'm not, nothing's going off, nothing's giving me any audio cue that something's in the area. Man, come on, so much wasted time. They might as well call this the hiker, because I feel like most of the time I'm just walking in the woods. It's lame. Yeah, I think I think out of every game I've played, this one is like the worst to play. Oh, what's this? Wait, what a mess! If I'd known this was gonna happen, I never would have agreed to it. This isn't even the worst of it. Right, let's take it one by one. Just bundle them into crates, and I'll get someone to swing by later and transport them out of the reserve. I think this is the worst to play on the projector. Because you need to be able to see in like thick coverage. You need to be able to see the animals. And I just don't have enough clarity. Quite the medieval fear. Uh huh. Looks more than a bit incongruous out here, if you ask me. Are those real oranges? Good enough to eat, eh? fire in that thing imagine if some silly townie kid had wandered over here and decided it would be a good idea hmm. that's the last of them what's that note props list Foam statue of Haughty Elf standing prowl nine foam warriors eight golden goblets three green screens this reads like a Christmas carol. See any of those? A bit dodgy. Townies must have been up here. Well, even though this isn't our mess to clean up, I should probably ask around and see if anyone knows what's happened to the missing props. The last thing we need is to get blamed for this. Maybe they did a very selective sweep? I'll see if anyone has a big wig's numbers. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Eho. Let's move on. I lost my four-wheeler. <laughs> I'm just stumbling lost Before you the head woods. off and film your hunts, first we've got to set the scene, so to speak. The marketing team's looking for some photos for the reserve website. Something to give people a taste of what this place has to offer. Hmm. Now that we've dealt with that bloody mess, you think you could head over to Lake Wakaiti and snap a few shots for us? We got a little overly reliant on these tent pole releases. Well, I say more tents and fewer releases. Does that work? <laughs> nah, you're right. There's a willow tree there growing right out of the water that all their influencers or whatever they call themselves go bonkers for. It does make for a good photo op, I'll give it that. Yo. That one. We might be able to hunt something after all.
Ooh, not a good shot. I don't think. Oh, maybe it was a good shot. <laughs> Let's see, that a lot that's a lot of blood. That's a vital. Where'd I hit you? Oh, let's see. Right lung, liver. Left lung and right lung. That was a double lung shot. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, we got to see some interesting movie props and some beautiful landscape and we hunted a goat so um i think i'm gonna end the stream here just under 40 minutes uh this map has a lot to offer i'm kind of excited about the new story and hopefully i'll learn more about uh traditional new zealander culture kiwi culture it's it's definitely kind of neat to to walk through forests that look like some of the locations I visited in Australia. You know, New Zealand and Australia are relatively close together, so they share some some topographical and environmental features. So it's kind of cool to be observing how authentic this landscape is. Of course, I've never been to New Zealand itself, but if it's if any part of it is anything like Australia, they've they've definitely made some some good depictions here so uh, no but this this map will be fun I'm looking forward to doing more streams with the hunter call of the wild uh, because there's not a lot of space or there's I guess there's not a lot of action oriented stuff in here I think instead of doing the story mode all the time I might just do some free hunting and then try to do some scripted almost podcast type stuff over the gameplay so I got plans for streaming this game specifically but I just haven't really put it all together I just wanted to get something started here um, but yeah I think that's gonna be it for today we had a successful hunt a nice kill and uh, a little bit of a story development here in this New Zealand map All right. Uh, like and subscribe if you like watching me play games badly. I'll get better for you.